Thank you for purchasing the MCDX80 MTech crossbow. This crossbow is very powerful for its size and it is not a toy. In the box you'll find an Allen wrench, a hard pressure pad, two rubber pads, two limb tips, a bowstring, a fiberglass limb, and a pre-assembled self-cocking stock. To assemble, insert the limb through the front end of the stock. Make sure the white lines are evenly visible on both sides. Place the first rubber pad on the back of the limb between the two lines. Place the second rubber pad on the front of the limb between the two lines. Place the metal pressure plate on top of the second rubber pad. Make sure the center notch of the metal plate is facing forward. Before using the Allen wrench to tighten the retaining screw, make sure all your pieces are still between the white lines. Check to make sure the limb is secure before moving on to the next step. Place a limb tip on each end of the limb with the curved side of the tip facing forward. To attach the bowstring, place the loop of the bowstring over the limb tip. To attach the other loop, you will need to bend the limb so the loop can go over the tip. This is going to take a bit of brute strength, so be very careful on this step. With one hand holding the nose of the crossbow, grab the tail end with the other hand. Use your thumb to disengage the cocking lock and firmly pull the lever down. The safety latch will automatically engage when the bow is fully cocked. Return the cocking lever to its original position. To load, place a bolt along the top rail. Gently push the bolt under the bolt clip until it stops. Important to remember, keep your finger off the trigger until you are ready to shoot. Facing your target, release the safety. Your crossbow is now ready to shoot. Do not cock or load your crossbow until you intend to shoot. Do not point at anything you're not intending to shoot. Only use proper bolts, such as the Amtec DX A6B. Never fire an unloaded bow. Doing so can damage the limb and may result in injury. Always inspect your bow before shooting. It's dangerous to use a bow with damaged limb, string, or bolt. Doing so can cause further damage to the bow or cause injury to the user.